Hello, random viewers, and welcome to the fifth episode of my Kerbal Space Program Let's Play. This is Season 2. I was supposed to put Season 2 in there somewhere, and it didn't work. I'll have to see how I did that. Yeah, I can't remember how I did that. So we were with Jebediah. He's way up here. I think it's Jebediah. Yeah, it's Jebediah. And he's bored the Altair 3 rocket. We're gonna need a new one that lands on the moon. Give me names in the comments, please. Suggest names. Think of a cool one. I like Altair. Um, so pick one equally cool. Uh, Emma's with me today. Not sure what she's doing, but she's doing something. And I think we've got everything set up. Yeah, 34 kilometers. That's pretty good. I'm gonna quick save. And then we're going to warp to the planet. So, we're gonna... We're gonna take two passes. So we can watch the planet really approach. Yeah. Do I have that set up to the brakes action group yet? Nah. Wonderful. Still got a ways to go. Twelve minutes. Let's warp here, please. And then... I'd like to recharge my batteries before re-entry. So right before I hit the atmosphere, I'm gonna burn my engines a little bit. And that should recharge. I'm gonna burn them retrograde to kill speed, but slightly upwards to keep it from getting too low. See how we can keep the altitude of our periaps the same, about relatively, but still slow down a bit. Oh, we got that thrust limiter on it. There we go. That's good. Ah. We're gonna raise that back up to 34 and then kill power. That's enough electricity. Oh. What's this? We use stored data. Did I take it all out? Uh, materials study. Mystery goo. Temperature. Yeah. What about the crew report? I can't remember what happened to that crew report. If I do a crew report. Oh, it probably wasn't worth anything. That's weird, though. What happened to my crew report? I had one. I did an EVA report as well. I wonder what happened to them. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. Hmm. Well, I took all the data that I could. I got a temperature scan, got a mystery goo. Yeah, so... Ejecting that last stage isn't gonna hurt me at all. Oh, something's exploding. Here, you, you go. Oh, it's our stage right there. Oh, something's flying past us. I was gonna speed up this re-entry, but this is interesting. Bye. There's another bit over there. Good, I got rid of all the mono propellant. Oh, I should have transferred electric. Oh, I can't transfer stuff. Forgot about that. It's not that intense. I mean, it's just coming down nicely. <clears throat> Probably not any more explosions now, so enjoy this time lapse.
Alright, we're just about down. We came off just off the coast of the KSC. So that's great. Um, we get more money on the recovery. Not like we're gonna get much. You can load now. There. And I remembered what happened to that science, I transmitted it back. Great. All kinds of parts and stuff. That's good. So, science stuff now. Can we get that? Oh, I want it. I want it pretty bad. I want that pretty bad. Where do I get that thing, though? I found it, so I know exactly what I want. I want this, and I want this. So that gives us some great airplane parts, and now I can build my half airplane, half rocket thing. That's wonderful. Point one, science. So I'm gonna see if I can get some contracts. I wanna send Valentina into orbit around the moon. I think with a few minor edits, my rocket will be capable of that. That was a test flight, so I didn't wanna go too close. So we're just doing a flyby, even though we probably did have the fuel to do orbit. So I'll be back. That was easy. Science data from space around the moon and orbit the moon. We're gonna do both those. So we've got three active. I upgraded this thing, I don't know if I said that. So we're gonna go into the BAB and I'm gonna fix it. So I'll be back when we're ready to launch. Alright, so I saw this thing called Mission Flag. I guess you can have a flag for the individual rocket. So it doesn't change your main flag, but it just gives you another flag. So, um, let's go with just this one. And let's click Launch. So I'll see how that works. If this works, um, I'd be open to you guys making me flags for my rockets. Let's see. Okay, it, it changed the whole flag system, but I could still have individual flags for my rockets, and I could just change it every time. If that interests you guys, tell me, please. Um, that'd be a fun little way that you could get your artwork in here. Yeah, so now we can go for launch. I limited the thrust on these solid rocket boosters. It's really the only edit. It's all they really needed. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I guess we're in space now. We went up a lot faster than I'd like. So when we get to around 30 seconds, we're going to really, well, we were really going to boost it up. Let's get a little bit of turning in there. I 
want that to catch up with me better. How is it 18 minutes away? Oh, that's assuming I went to the center of the planet. That's how that estimate works. Okay. I'm not going to the center of the planet, though, so that estimate does not work. I think I have maneuver nodes now. Yes, I do. So I can now place maneuvers. Wonderful. How am I doing on fuel? Could be better. Alright, come on. I'm gonna pitch downward now. Not down, but closer to my prograde. It increases efficiency. That's gonna be pushing crazily, but... Okay, whatever. And then kill engines. There. Mm, slightly more fuel left than last time. Should probably put solar panels on it, if I have those unlocked. I'm not sure if I do. I'm gonna turn off the SAS, we don't need it. Oh, updates, do you see that? It says I have updates. You might not see it. There's the moon. It's coming up over the horizon right about here. Set it as target. How bad, bad is the inclination? Can you tell me how bad the inclination is, please? What's the note? 0.2 degrees. Surprising, considering the rocket can't fly straight. All right, it's about time for our burn. So, I'm gonna gently bring it up. I know that this stage is gonna run out of fuel, so that's why I'm going to burn now, not later. Yep, we're running low on fuel. That's the usual, typical. This is better than last time. We're gonna spend a lot less fuel on our second stage. Those tuned down solid rocket boosters help a lot. Okay, when that hits around, hit X. Well, or not. Poor Valentina. That's unpleasant. <laughs> She'll live. And then killing the engines there. And then I'm just going to very gently finish it off. Okay, we get that down as close as we can. Just starting and stopping the engine. Oh, 25. Sure. It doesn't have to be a perfectly circular orbit. 25 it is. Plenty of fuel left. So I'm going to quick save. Okay. Oh yeah, we, we've got a lot. We've got a lot left. I think I'm gonna... Nah, I won't save a reserve. If we're getting into a mess, it's gonna be hard to get out. Okay, close that. And now we'll warp up to here. Alright, warp here, please. Can you see the moon approaching? going to come up and kind of come very close to us. Yeah. And now it looks like we're headed straight for it. That's cool. It's one of those shots where you see the rocket uh, in movies. Oh, we transferred things. Uh, set a focus view, please. That'd be very nice. Oh, yay. Right along the equator. That maneuver. I'm just going to bring that down as much as we can. I don't want a super nice orbit. I mean, I'll go as circular as I can, but we've got to save fuel for the return trip. Now that's just a seven second burn. We should be able to go to better. So I'll just turn this. I'll probably get into a highly eccentric orbit and then Eccentric. Yeah, that, that's the right word. I'm pronouncing it correctly, too. And then I'll do some science, transmit it, and then I'll recharge the electricity with my engine as I finish circularizing. Five minutes away from this burn. Oh, wow. We're going to have to start putting up communication satellites just for my rule. Okay. One minute out. 45 seconds, and uh, there we go, starting the engine, okay, let's see where we are, yep, that's good, we've got plenty of fuel, 
Might even have enough to land, but no, that's not worth risking it right now. So time to gather scientific data. Okay, observe materials bay, please. Keep that data. Space near the moon, good. Do a crew report. Can I have a free camera, please? Thank you. Crew report. Yep, that's great. Observe Mr. Goo. That's great. Keep that data. Where is this? Log temperature. Keep that data. Then we're going to go on EVA. We're going to do an EVA report, please. Great. Yeah, we can get biome data. So we're going to stay in orbit for a while. Get a lot of EVA reports. But first, we're going to go up here. Yeah, that's just a few minutes away. Once we're up here, and we can see Kerbin, we're going to transmit all our data. It's also daytime, if that helps. Where's the main? There's the main. So we're going to review stored data. EVA report. Transmit that, please. Where's the crew report? I took a crew report. Did I recycle it? Ah, stop turning. Please. Crew report. Cancel. Then where's the reviewed stored data? Let's hit this. Take data. There we go. Maybe that'll do it. I'll just take the data. All right, we'll, I'll let go with CS, please. Be gentle. Valentina, be good. Uh, collect data, remove data. We'll transmit the thermometer data. Okay, collect that data, remove data. There. Now we can just get EVA reports. Next grab, please. And board. I say it's on. I'm going to review the stored data. Materials bay, keep that. Crew report, keep that. Mystery goo. Okay. I forgot to hit transmit on the crew report, which transmits for full scientific value. Good. Alright, keep that data. Then let's do a temperature scan. Oh, review data. Oh. That's right, transmitting it does that. Gotta go grab that then. Come on. Don't be crazy. Take data. There we go. No, not that way. That way, please. Get in. And now, we're gonna do something. Oh, I hit the mic. I apologize for that. Electricity. Mm, we've gotta turn that off to just to conserve it. Yeah, I feel like that's everything. Yeah, so now we're going to circularize. And... Then we can get tons of biome data. We'll get a lot of science for this. Oh, do I have... No, go away, please. Thank you. No, I told you to... Oh, no. Okay. Um, my computer thinks I want to do updates. You... Stop doing that. Quit. Go away. Alright. There. Got rid of... App Store. It was being annoying. Where are we? Right, we're gonna lower this. Yeah, we've got plenty of fuel for this. Yeah, probably enough to land, but... Is it worth trying? No, I don't have the experiments. I don't think this craft would have the fuel for this. But it seems to. Once, If we get the Terrier engine from all the science that we get, we could use that. Alright, EVA please. And take an EVA report. Ah, we got that one. Board then. Let's just time accelerate a little bit. We'll just try it at different spots. Ah. 
FDA report. These? Nope. Okay, fine. Can't time accelerate with a Kerbal on the ladder. I'm just gonna keep on time accelerating, gathering data, then time accelerating again until I've gotten a lot of biomes. Oh, see? Highlands. So I can do stuff like that to gain a ton of scientific data. So I'll be back after I do all that. Valentina's having a lot of fun. Yeah, we're getting a ton of scientific data. Yeah, I got like, um, four, no, not four. Like six or seven experiments. It was really good. Oh, right, gotta reactivate that engine. Okay, please, let's gain some altitude now. I got the maneuver set up to go home. So that's really good. Yeah, we have very close to enough fuel to land, I think. Okay, let's uh, look at that periaps. And just watch it closely. We want to get it down. I'm going to get it down to 33. 34 last time was just a bit high. A little bit closer can would be nice. Not going to be too picky, though. Yeah. 33. Good enough. Check. So when we get higher above the moon, I'm going to see if I can grab another mystery goo. That'd be great. What about this one? Can't even access it because it's used. Observe mystery goo. Any signs left in it? A little bit. Can I get some temperature data? Log temperature? Ah, it's worth nothing. Crew report? Probably worth nothing. So let's do an EVA and go and retrieve that sh data, shall we? Oh, let's turn it like that so we can see. Okay, stop doing that. It's probably really fun to fly on a jetpack. She has a lot of fuel, so she's fine. Can I collect data? Remove data. Good. Oh, this spacecraft's gonna be spinning so bad. I have to grab. Board. Okay, stop spinning. There. Okay, that's great. So we've got everything stored now. There's nothing there. Hey! Uh oh. Hang on. My cat was getting into trouble. Now we are just gonna warp back to the base. Back to the planet. Got a focus view there. Yeah. I wanted to design my other rocket today, but I'm pretty close to being completely out of time. So, we're gonna just do this mission and then we're gonna be done. Oh, that's beautiful, question mark. Yeah. Wonderful. This game's great, but I really wish we didn't get stuff like that. It's just gross. But unfortunately, with recording, my computer can't really handle much more. I mean, it's, it's a pretty nice computer, but... Yeah, I'm looking forward to building my own custom PC. That'll be very nice. I'm over halfway there. With my work, I'm making enough money to actually save up for stuff like that. So that's great. I'm gonna point us almost completely retrograde. Maybe the flickering will stop when we get closer. Who knows? Okay, I'm going to eject right before we hit the atmosphere, I think. Well, right after then. I'm just going to use the stored electricity to get stabilized. And then I'm oh wow, it's already starting to heat up. Should have given it a slight angle, because that's going to come back and hit us. Get ready for some explosions. Wow. Yeah, we're going pretty fast. Over 3,000 meters per second. That translates to... Probably 6,000... No, 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 not 6,000. We're going about 700... 7,000 miles per hour right now. For my American viewers. And there goes that. I think that central fuel tank is the first thing that explodes. So, the piece with the engine goes that way. The engine is very heavy, so it flies by. What's this? Transplant or recover? Yay. So I got lots of money. Nice. 
Oh, spacewalk in orbit around the moon. Got stuff with what? What? How can a heat shield be overheating? It's a heat shield. What? I didn't know that was possible. I guess. Oh, I guess the ablator doesn't come off. Yeah, I think maybe that's its maximum rate of coming off, so maybe it does start to overheat. I didn't account for that. Ooh. That heat shield explodes. I can always jettison it, but I'd prefer not to. That'd be nice to not have to jettison the heat shield. That'd be very nice. Yeah, this wrench is bad. Uh, okay, it's down 57, so we should be... Okay, when I say 57, I mean 0 0.56, 0 0.57. Now it's 0.55. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a time lapse of this one. There's no point. I'll just do this. Yep, heating issue's gone. We're going back into space. Maybe a little bit, but... Wait, no, we're not. We're not going back into space. We'll climb a bit. Yep, we're coming right back down. Great. So, I will come back when we're close to opening up the parachutes. Okay, time to jettison the heat shield. Oh, wow. G-force is there. Oh, it's because I was time accelerating. Well, the heat shield's gone. Um, it's gonna explode. We were just coming down quickly, so I decided to jettison it. It should explode any second now. Come on, explode. I might have to pause the recording. There it goes. Good. Alright, I'll come back when we hit the ground. Alright, I opened the main parachute a little late, so... Hopefully it'll open in time. Yeah, it did. Yeah, we're pretty close now. What is it? Oh yeah, radar altimeter says we're just about to hit the surface. Which is what I can see too. Can we get an EVA report from the from the desert just because? EVA report. Yes. New biome. You know, you gotta get as much science as you can. The more the better. Let's recover the vessel. Probably not a ton of money back, but we made a lot to pay for the launch. Let's see. What do they think of us? Oh, our reputation went way up. Oh, yeah. So all those EVA reports, they really stacked up. Yeah. What did Valentina get? Ooh, nice. So I think I can research some more stuff now. I can get solar panels. I can afford two things. Solar panels are a good idea, and it'll give us a more advanced computer. So that's what we want. Then Bill and Bob can start flying some. Atmospheric thing. Did I get a new experiment on that? No. Um, don't really need that. And I'll pass. Landing legs. Nice. Don't really need those. Nah, I don't really need those. Not yet. Fairings. I want those a lot. Fuel systems. I want those a lot. Terrier, though. Mm. It's probably worth it. I can land without. I can land on struts. I mean, I want those fairings, but... There we go. We should be able to build a moon lander and another type of rocket pretty easily now with all those parts that I've got now. So that's great. Anything cool here? Rescuing people from orbit. Eh. Not a huge fan of those missions, just because they're so unrealistic in the places that the Kerbals end up, especially considering we're the only people on the planet. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next episode. So have a nice day.